Hi, I'm Klaus Hoffmann Hoek, the guy who gave the idea for this digital Mellotron, the Mellotron from Germany, made in Berlin. And I will show you what we've done, taken out of more than 52 Mellotrons. We took hundreds and hundreds of samples, each note by note, no loops, and of course, seven to eight seconds long. Listen. So we tried to put the good old Mellotron from the 60s and 70s into the next millennium. It's fully MIDI equipped, it's really portable and affordable too. It looks like the old M400 in beautiful wide and it has got all the controls that you need. It means volume, it means tone for example like that. And of course, you can adjust it in pitch. Listen to that. You know that. And it stays in tune. It's easy, but it's easy to put in new sounds because we got a card inside, a compact flash card inside, and a constantly expandable library with lots of noises, all taken from original Mellotrons. And with this machine, you are able to uh, emulate any kind of Mellotron. It's not that we use the master tapes, because you know master tapes can be quite sterile. We use them from original machines and we put a lot of effort into recording. I'll give you an example um, of a sound that was used by Genesis and we picked it from the speakers of an old 1963 Mark II Mellotron just to get the right sounds that Genesis used to have. Have a listen. As I already mentioned, these are samples taken out of 52 Mellotrons and a lot of other machines that I could lay my hands on. And we do not only offer Mellotronic sounds, but we offer a lot of sounds that had to do with Mellotron. You know, usually there was, it was a good combination to have a Hammond and a Mini Moog or an ARP synthesizer on top. And so we try to cover that as well, so, uh, enabling the user to recreate all kind of music that was popular in the 60s, 70s and the 80s. Um, our library offers, for example, D6 or string machines too, and all the noises that the Mellotron was famous for. And a lot of custom sounds by famous musicians went into the library too. Um, our users nowadays are, for example, the Moody Blues, Oasis, Barclay, James Harvest, Tangent Dream, uh, Jean-Michel Jarre, and a lot of famous big names who were known for using the Mellotron to great excess. So this is the Mellotron, 
and let's listen if you like. The sounds are easy to load in and a collect it comes most of the machines come at least with 12 or 24 noises and in a year we bring out uh, at least one or two libraries with exciting new sounds this is the latest one the vintage 4 with a lot of noises that Mellotron players longed for and we got them all in different varieties if you want to emulate let's say a mark ii from 63 here you are if you want to emulate an m300 of 68 it's possible or recreate the white m400 it's all in the box thanks <laughs> 